My name is Brooke Paulson and I'm here today to answer some of your burning questions. I was five years old and there was a Patrick Swayze movie filming in Winnipeg, Manitoba. My sister wanted to go to the casting call. They were looking for background dancers. I tagged along, I got the role, and eventually my sister somehow found it in her heart to forgive me. I would say job security, and that's probably it. Um, one of the things I had to kind of learn early on because I did find success when I was young um, is that accolades and notoriety don't always guarantee you a seat at the table. So it's really important to make sure you're feeling fulfilled kind of in the life in between. Um, so making sure it's about the work and about the emotional work that you have to do to empathize with a character and to connect to a script. Those are the things that are going to keep you fulfilled um, and keep you from hunting down the wrong areas of fulfillment. Kind of difficult is um, because it's either feast or famine in this industry, I have found that um, like any great career, you want to make sure you have a lot of experience, a lot of practice, and it's hard to keep in practice when you're not booking consistently. So that's why it's important to study, take classes, do a lot of self-work, right in between any way that you can feel creatively fulfilled. Um, that's how I've managed to stay in this. Well, this was almost 10 years ago. Um, I had just graduated high school and the day after I left for Maui, Hawaii for a month of studying theology. And when I got back, I had about a two week window to prepare. So I remember watching a lot of foreign films, a lot of French films that had similar themes and tones, very coming of age. Um, I ended up falling in love with the genre. And so just tried my best to kind of stay in that headspace. I didn't see a lot of friends during that time. I I don't know if you'd call that method, but I did try to kind of isolate myself quite a bit. I did grow up in a fairly conservative household, so there were some things I was able to draw on more than others, but I would say it was a character that was a bit more emotionally complex than I was probably ready for. My life since 18 has been jam-packed with a bit more color, so I think I have a lot more understanding toward Michelle now than I might have then, um, but I obviously I uh, worked very hard to serve the character as best as I could. Um, I remember we were driving to locations that were about like two hours out of the city at like crazy hours. Um, I wouldn't say that was the hardest part, I would say, <laughs> but it was, a, it was an obstacle. Um, I would say the hardest part was probably just the emotional depth of the character um, and my being so young and naive. Uh, you would think that might have made her easier to play, but it was definitely a lot harder. So I think it was a bit trying to see the forest through the trees. Um, that, that was probably the most difficult part. Um, the characters, the actors, uh, the director, Paula Kelly, everyone was such a breeze to work with. I think I just had a lot of my own internal voice that I had to kind of overcome uh, in order to properly play Michelle. Before the pandemic, um, I, for the last couple of years, have been working quite a bit on writing. I've now sold a few different concepts to different production companies. I've sold a few scripts and I'm working to now develop a couple projects under the mentorship of a friend I really respect and whose career I really admire. Uh, so I've been working on that. I also put out an album last year uh, that now has two Juno nominations, which is great. And auditioning. I would just say basically anything that's kind of kept me creatively fulfilled in between gigs is what I've been doing. And um, I would say right now it's writing, music, and acting. So who knows what else I'll add to the mix. <laughs> I'm sure I'll think of something. I got into watercoloring last week. Maybe that'll be the next thing. Uh, finally, I would just love to say thank you so much to our healthcare workers. I hear that everyone in Manitoba is excited to be moving into phase two i think already which good for you guys it's a very different story over here in ontario um but just thank you so much for all of the essential workers for doing an incredible job of keeping us safe during this time um finally i would just say stay at home wash your hands wear a mask be cool be safe think of others always put others first um, and i hope everyone has a fabulous day